So I want to talk about an anime from this season that has a lot of controversy wrapped around and that is our dating story the experience you and the inexperienced me. Now this anime will remind you of my first girlfriend's a gal and then more than a married couple it has those type of similarity type of vibes but there's one catch between this one and those two is the female character in this anime she's not a virgin and some reason that has ruffled a lot of anime fans we're just say incel anime fans feathers because they're so upset that this character's a, not a virgin and they basically had different boyfriends and she slept around all this other things so like they feel some type of way and, you know it's some double standard you know bs because there's literally characters like somebody like makoto from school days who literally sleeps around with the whole school you don't see nobody losing their mind talking about like oh why is makoto not a virgin because you know they don't care because it's a male but like when a female does this you know they feel a certain way they don't feel this way when they're you know when there's a harem and a guy surrounded by all these different women they do not care but if a woman is that's when you see these type of incel type of anime fans come out the room but yeah let's just talk about this anime though and just talk about some of the things that happened in this series because i mean it's an okay anime but it's not one of my favorites at all from this season but i just want to talk about some of the things so but yeah, let's essentially talk about what this anime is about and then we're going to more detail about the hilarious things of just people being incels because trust me i've seen so many different things about this anime with people being incels and all this different stuff but yeah, let's talk about this anime though so essentially it falls as one guy that's the main character and like one day like him and his friends are like oh whoever gets the highest grade on our test because you know it's like dog they're both suck i guess at you know passing tests or whatever they say has to ass out their crush and the main guy he's in love with this girl named runa but there's a lot of like um rumors and stuff around her just like sleeping with anybody that she dates and all this other stuff eventually he's going to be the one to pass he goes and asks her out and then she basically says like oh what do you like about me and all this other stuff and eventually says yes the one sad thing we learn about her is her mindsets towards relationships because we basically learn that when she's in relationships she thinks that the only thing she can do is basically give it up and have sex with like the other people that are there or they're going to leave her and it basically shows like how sad like her mindset has been for like basically relationships because all the people that she's been with in the past have used her and like basically just for sex and like and it shows that her mindset for relationship has not really been well when actually she's actually like a really sweet girl and all this other type of thing because we learn stuff about her like what she actually likes because like the MC learns about her personality and all this other stuff the whole sad part of this anime is just like when it comes to her whole mindset and how she really had a horrible mindset for relationships and nobody really taught her or showed her like what real relationships are like because she just thought she always had to give it up and that's when we get the controversy of this anime and you have all the incels coming out like blaming her for being a hoe all this other stuff instead of seeing that her side of the story is actually really sad because trust me i've seen so much and i mean so much from me posting a video on tiktok people saying no sale no deal people feeling sad for the mc because he has to deal with a girl that has a past and all this other stuff and you know the crazy thing about this whole thing is we don't even know how many boyfriends she had in the past because it's never really said how many she's had in the past she could have had like three boyfriends or something like that and the other thing is did they not realize that almost any girl that you meet as an adult that's had boyfriends in the past they more than likely have done stuff and they've done stuff a lot a lot so like, that's the one thing i'll never understand like a lot of people just don't understand how the female body works because you have people saying that she's blown out and all this other stuff and i'm like dog you don't know any of the details about like what her actual past is like and y'all clearly don't know how the female body works if you're just claiming that she's blown out and all this other stuff because she's had boyfriends and you have other people complaining saying like oh how can she be loyal and all this but she, like she sleeps around when it's like dog she says when she's in a relationship she's been loyal so like there's so many like other dumb things aspects to this that like i don't understand why people are feeling this way it's mainly because a lot of people are just incels like a lot of them really are and the funny thing is i went to the reddit and like on the reddit it said like can y'all please like you know stop leaving these incel type of comments like no more inappropriate incel like comments and i just thought that was funny because i just showed that it was like yeah a lot of these people are dumb and like trust me i've seen so many ridiculous like stuff especially when i went to a certain pirate site to look on the comments section there there was this dude over here arguing talking about like oh see this is what the problem is with women and blah 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 and he's like this doesn't have with men and somebody was like dog this is why women don't sleep with you because you have this mindset so yeah there's a lot of people here with weird mindsets or certain things and like they feel certain ways i will say the crunchyroll comment section for this video wasn't as bad like on their thing but trust me there were people that had a lot of incel stuff but i mean a lot of this is like kids saying stuff because you know kids nowadays you know they don't really got the greatest you know people to look up to I will say that because some of the stuff that's online literally is, you know, a lot of sex is incel type of stuff. So that's why they're saying some of the things they say. You have other people that are saying like, oh, no man wants no slut, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, dog. 
when you become an adult do you not realize majority of adults are not virgins so it's like why should that really matter so i mean there's a lot of things here i'm just like why do people care like at all but i mean majority of people that have kept watching this anime you see that it's getting like kind of sweeter and sweeter when it's between like the two main characters because we saw that the main guy he actually is trying to like learn more about her like when he went out and learned all that different stuff about like the the type of drink that she liked and he went all these different places and we see he's going above and beyond because he's trying to show her like what a real relationship is because she really does not know what a real relationship is because all the people in her past that have kind of done her dirty yeah i think it's okay anime is it going to be like a top tier romance no 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 trust me this is nowhere near top tier because there's a lot of better ones like there's a list like there's a list of like top tier ones but this one ain't if it's if it's an anime that's view if it's a romance anime that's for like the male gaze trust me it ain't gonna be no top tier romance at all but yeah i still think this is an okay anime but at the same time i do think all the controversy and all the dumb stuff that you get from all these people saying no seal no deal and all the incel type of comments because you have this side of people that are saying like oh i wait till marriage and all this other stuff and i'm just like dog y'all don't realize that what the incel thing of somebody saying no sale no deal she's blown out all this other stuff i'm like that has nothing to do with somebody that's waiting until marriage this is just people being incels and it's like being inconsiderate because you not realize you say this to any woman they're gonna look at you crazy so i don't know i just know there's a lot of like extra like stuff around this series though but it's an okay anime and i know people that have read like the light novels or whatever else have like enjoyed this series the people that actually enjoy the series are not saying the incel comments it's just the people the certain amount of anime fans that are incels because you know there are a lot of anime fans that are incels and i mean a lot a lot of them are but yeah if y'all seen this anime let me know how y'all feel about it if y'all not seen it why not check it out you can watch it on crunchyroll hop on a pirate ship watch it that way too though i think it's an okay anime like you'll probably enjoy this for the most part it is like wholesome ish so far between the characters so we'll see how this one goes but i just think that controversy was very dumb and weird and it just it's just a whole bunch of people that have never been with women and you know they're incels and all this other stuff and that's why they kind of think the way they are but y'all can let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments i know i'm gonna get a whole bunch of comments of y'all talking about actually she is a slut and blah 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 i'm just like dog we don't even know the exact number of what she's been with and like the crazy thing is it's a drawing and why should we care anyway when it's like there's literally countless M male MCs that have done this exact same thing or male characters that have done this exact same thing and y'all don't care that's why I say it's some double standard shit it's because you see it's finally a female character that's actually getting around doing things and there's also the other people saying like oh she's 16 she should never do this when I'm like dog have y'all never been in high school do you not know there's literally shows called 16 and pregnant like there's literally shows there are like 16 moms and other shows like that and like literally in high school I knew so many different people that like got around did stuff like this so so it's like dog it is realistic because like i don't know why people are acting like this is not realistic when there's like so many people that have had babies young there's so many people that you know have got around so it's like this it's not like this is something that's new to our world and so foreign when it's like dog this happens all the time so that's another thing i just understand why people are saying stuff like that when it's like dog this is something that happens in real life this is more realistic than a lot of y'all romance anime you know especially y'all harem romance anime where y'all see one bland ass guy surrounded by a whole bunch of women so yeah be for real though but yeah if you enjoyed the video why not like if you didn't you could just like subscribe if you enjoy all that but yeah i just it's kind of done with all the controversy around this but i mean it's kind of died down for the most part because majority of people that like said all their incel type of comments they have more than likely left the anime if you're still like if you're one of them ones that are still incel and you continue watching this i'm like dog why did you trash it just to continue watching but i mean there are people like that though but i mean at this point in the anime majority of them people are gone and it's just that first episode you had all them type of comments of people saying especially on my tiktok bruh TikTok was ridiculous because I mean TikTok is filled of little kids but I mean so on the pirate sites the pirate sites got some crazy people with some crazy mindsets that's all I gotta say on there like both of those two they have people with crazy mindsets there you'll see some of the most incel stuff ever trust me I might even link my two TikTok videos that y'all can see all this ridiculousness that's on both of those videos though but yeah this anime is okay though but y'all can watch it if y'all want to though but thank you for watching this video goodbye mm -hmm.